Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on four brand new masks that I just got in and yes, they are Jason Voorhees masks. I'm also going to show you just to compare them with my NECA version from um, the final chapter which is part four where you had the axe run through his head. I think that was in part three but then it continued over to part four. Uh, I'm going to show you the difference between the mask and how the holes actually do line up and they are almost perfect in size. So this is an actual mask, uh, not an officially licensed mask and I'm going to tell you why here in a second by pulling this other mask up. Okay now this is the one I just showed not too long ago. Alright, the chevrons and everything. On the axe part of the head. Now, this is incredibly thick, okay? As you can see right here. I'll tell you what, this mask right here cost me $52 at Target, and I was under the impression it was probably around $30. But when she said $52, I'm like, whoa, that's expensive. But I said, all right, I'm already at the register. Might as well go ahead and do it because I wanted an official replica of one of the masks at least. But I did see other ones online where people actually do their own customization of these masks. And they're absolutely impressive. I think I might venture into doing something like that. Because I've seen some pretty damn nice ones there. But anyway, let me just put this over top. And show you what I'm talking about. As these are actually pretty close to the real thing. You see how the holes actually line up here? Okay, they're almost perfect in the way they made them. This is an actual same mold that NECA uses. And these are a standard mold. Um, plus, the holes are just a little bit bigger on these here, on the top one. But not that much different. But they do line up perfectly. Now, one thing for these masks. I've got a set of four of them. And they're roughly around $14. Now, keep in mind... You get what you pay for, okay? These are probably roughly 15, and there's a set of four of them. Maybe at the most four bucks a piece, okay? Um, but they do come with some flaws, okay? One of the masks, I will tell you this straight off, this one right here, did not come with any uh, strap on the back, as you can see on this one here. This one's completely missing, so. What I'm planning on doing with these masks is literally just hanging them up on my wall. I don't plan on technically wearing them all. They're just there. But I will, I will wear one occasionally when I do my updates. Uh, because I think it would be interesting. Because this is pumpkin horror. It's, it's a Halloween slash horror channel. Giving you updates wearing these masks. I think it would be cool in my opinion. Uh, and they're easy to speak out of. So, uh, so my, most of my masks that I do have are hard to breathe out of okay also hard to talk out of, but these would be nice to actually do the updates on so i will do the occasional updates just to keep you guys informed anyway let's get into the actual uh detail of these masks okay they do have snaps up on top if you choose to put your snaps up there now this one here originally was packed where it was snapped up on the top here and i tried to put it on my head and I literally had to pull the entire strap all the way down to the base of my head just to get it to fit. And then I actually moved it down to the bottom ones here, okay? And it works fine. These are nice and comfortable, believe it or not, even if you got a big head, okay? Now, quality of this mask, it's a very thin plastic, okay? As you can see, it's very flexible, okay? So we'll you know, it won't put too much pressure on your head. Unlike this one here. Okay, I'm going to put this down for a second. You can't even move it. That's how, that's how hard this is. This is literally a hockey mask, okay? Alright. This one here is a little bit uncomfortable to wear. Especially around the chin. Alright. Anyway, getting back on track here. Alright, let's look at the mask itself. This has got a different a silver black color scheme like literally somebody painted it okay as you can see it's got a little sloppiness to it now I've seen some customized uh, masks some of these guys are absolutely amazing the way they do the masks 
I think I might delve into that one day. Get myself some Jason Voorhees molds. Drill them out and do them just like they do. I've seen one. This guy had a complete collection of Jason Voorhees masks. One of them was like, like a dark red wood pattern. Very cool looking. I definitely want to do my Jason like that. And then there's some really cool ones out there. All right. Anyway, that's what it looks like here. Now, I think I mentioned the fact that one of the masks did not come with the straps. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I'm only going to hang these up, is I'm actually going to kind of cut it here. And I'm going to tack it up, because I'm just going to leave them there and just hang so they look nice on the wall. One of them, obviously, I'm going to show you the one I'm going to keep down and use that for my updates and stuff like that. So I will keep the strap intact on that one. But one of the straps will get cut, so I'll keep that in mind. All right, getting on the mask here again in the back. Now you will see that it does get a little spotty here. I don't know if you can actually see it. There we go, right there. See the spots? If your hands are greasy because your, um, your skin has oils, it will show up on here. So. But that's the inside, no big deal. Okay, let's move on to the next mask. All right, this one here is the one that was missing the straps. It literally didn't come with one. I'm like, what the heck? And one of the straps, I will tell you, I'm not sure which one it is, but um, the one the one snap on it does not work. Okay. Now you can see the chevrons are not traditional to a, a replica. As you can see, the sh these are more straight, and these are way more bent upward. Okay. So that's where it's not exactly a, an exact replica of a Jason Voorhees mask. But when you look at them, you say to yourself, oh, that's a Jason Voorhees mask, okay? And that's what it is, pretty much, okay? All right, so hang on for a second here, guys. All right. Back to the color pattern of this one here. It is a yellow. I'm not sure if they're actually was trying to actually, you know, match up to this one here. Because they got like a, almost like a dirty vanilla color or a pure white one. But this one here is just more yellow than anything else, okay? So let me pull that back. All right. These are all exactly the same, so keep that in mind. Now, obviously, the back on this thing is white, okay? But like I said, it does come with its flaws. This one didn't have a strap to it. I'm like, okay, that's not good. But I'll fix that problem because I'm just going to leave these hanging on the wall. All right. But anyway, that's that mask, okay? All right, moving on to the next one. Whoops. This one's very unique. Okay. Not something I would normally do, but it's more of a blood variant type thing. As you can see, the holes and everything. It can give you kind of ideas if you ever want to do something like this. All right, let's pull it back so you can see. This would be a good ice, uh, ice hockey mask. I'm sure some people have Jason Voorhees mask for ice hockey masks. Okay. They'd be cool, especially the goalies. All right, but you can see the paint scheme. You can feel this pattern. Pretty cool. All right. Well, let me give you a close-up look at that. That's a pure white one with the blood variant. That's all that pretty much is. Now, like I said, I do have another set of four coming in. And the next mask I'm going to show you is probably the same one that they have in this next box set which will be coming in on Thursday and I'm g I got that day off so when it does come in we'll do a video on that one as well okay so with that in mind there's the black one that's the one I plan on using it's more like a Savini mask but not because it isn't all cut and you know damaged okay but it, it's close to a Savini mask. Um, the other box set that's coming in will probably have something very similar, if not the same, okay? But I believe the chevrons on that particular box set are different than these. I could be wrong, but according to the picture, I believe they're actually closer to these here, okay? All right. So with that in mind, let me get this snap back on. Yeah, this is the one that don't work. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, that won't work. See, some of these snaps are messed up, as you can see. I don't know what's causing that, but... But anyway, that's the one I'm going to probably end up cutting, okay? And I'm going to switch out the, uh, the uh, bands for this one here. So I can actually wear this, okay? But anyway, I'll show you this one up close. It's black. Now, because it's black, it will retain oil spots. So you might want to clean it every once in a while, but don't clean it too much because obviously the paint will wear off on this. But like I said, these are very soft, okay? Now I do have a couple of paintball masks that I actually bought. Those look very cool. They have the eyes are meshed in with a, a black screen. Very cool. But they seem to be a little bit thinner like that. Let me pull that back. So it's kind of conformed to your face a little bit instead of the traditional wide version as you see in here. All right. But that is very cool. I will be using this one for updates. Okay, enough about that. All right, guys, I believe that's it on the actual um, updates for now on the Jason Voorhees masks, okay? This one, I do have a video sitting online. I just uploaded it yesterday, all right? Okay, but anyway, this is from the final chapter. As you can see, it is a very nice looking mask. I've been wanting one that's a replica. Like I said, there are other customized versions out there. I'm definitely going to delve into that and see what I can do. Okay, I've seen some pretty impressive looking ones out there. Okay, I definitely want to get a hold of the um, Jason X, the original mask like this one here. Where, oops, sorry about that. Let me turn that around. Okay, where he's actually in the warehouse and you see his eyes moving. It has a wider nose. It looks badass in my opinion. Some people would disagree because they just simply don't like that version or that movie. And I just think it looks cool. But I just definitely want to get one of those as a real, you know, official licensed one. And then we cost a pretty penny, but oh, uh, it's a future thing. Anyway, this is a replica from the final chapter, part four, okay? It has Corey Feldman in it, and it's a very heavy-duty mess, too. Okay, anyway, I'm going to end this here. And like I said, once Thursday rolls around, we'll definitely do another uh, video based on those masks, okay? And I'm going to have them hanging on the wall, and I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like once I get them on the wall. Okay, this is Pumpkin Hard. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to see some more videos. Okay, guys? In the meantime, you have yourselves a good night.